long class. Many of you know me. But if you are from here, you know me. At least 2018, you know me. And I want to thank every minister. Many of the people here are my elders. We, in, in this work, we run by grace. It's not necessarily by age. The things that God has built inside of us. I want to challenge a young man here. In case you think you are not qualified, I think I'm the least qualified. But what the grace of God can make of a man is strange. And in a moment, you become somebody that a generation will look at and pant after God. I just want to steer your heart. I have a burden in my heart. I'm not a preacher. I like to pray. It's just that I pray to some point. God now say, just drop word, just drop word. But I'm a praying person. And I also want to honor my father in the Lord in absentia. God's servant, Apostle Aaron, my son. I just have 20, 25 minutes. I want us to just pray in the spirit in the next three minutes. Just pray in the spirit wherever you are. Pray in the spirit. Saman to a kabarian talabahata. Ben telia so samanda. No, just, just the keys. Sona maha brante. Let me hear you. Ban to a kaparan delia betelia so samanta kabali. I come all. I set a variant of a palahata kapantelia daba. Branto kapataha. Expectation is the mother of manifestation. What do you want God to do for you? The scripture said, On that great day, the final day of the feast, Jesus stood up and said, Whosoever tasted, the first session has passed, second day passed. He came another day and said, Whosoever, I know you have touched things in God, I know you have encountered things, I know God has used you, but are you still hungry? If you are still hungry, come, I have more for you. I have more for you. The workings of God is eternal. He cannot be exhausted. Jesus is in this place. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Sobrenda pa kapalia, ambre ko pata pa hatal. Sambele to a kapalia. I need twenty people that will join me and pray. Si ambre ta kapa, abeda kia padante. Sabi ako bana, ambata kabra. Sabante kapata ni apela. Jesus, mighty name, in Jesus' name. Oh my God, you can be seated, please.
please help me a little with a little volume of my mic i'm not like my father in the lord i need volume so that you will hear my voice just a little the scripture said in the book of luke chapter 24 verse 49 jesus was telling his disciples he said tarry ye in jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high the scripture said tarry tarry till when <laughs> the scripture said tarry until i asked a fellow young man i said he, he was telling me about an issue i said how long have you prayed how long have you fasted he said he has fasted for 21 days i said and then you stopped the injunction of the scripture is tarry until we don't pray and fast so that they say we prayed and fasted we pray and fast so that the evidence of the things that we pursued became component part of our existence it is only then that men we seek the ways that we are teaching them i hope you know the scripture spoke in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 1 he said oh excellent theophilus he said of all that jesus began both to do and to teach that means the authority of his teaching ministry came from a living if he tells you about prayer he has prayed for long and then the evidence of a life of prayer began to manifest in his life and then men began to ask questions just like they noticed about him they asked him the disciples of john john is teaching them how to pray and we have noticed that there is there is a supernatural dimension in your life we have not found ourselves living that way and we notice that it can be traced to your prayer altar he said teach us how to pray because we have seen you praying if we want to go for crusade they will come and eat bread do many things he will tell them eat bread whatever you want eat in my name go and heal the people do things then when they are through in the night jesus will escape to the mountains and i believe part of the reason he goes to the mountains is so that he can shout <laughs> There are some prayers you can't pray small. You have to, you have to, you have to, you know. I don't know about others, but what is inside me is heavy duty machine. You can it's not, you know, what we receive, the Bible said he shall receive power. It's like a dynamo. It's a generator that has the capacity to generate energy. What God gave us is capacity to generate power and energy. And I found out. That your generator can be in different layers capacities there are people they have generator what they have is i pass my neighbor there is the one we have in our house i pass my neighbor you can't plug electric iron in it if you plug it it will do whoa, whoa. that's how some people went back to their campus and, and said i'm in charge of this campus now we are not in doubt that the holy ghost is there that the name is there but your capacity your generator is still i pass my neighbor and you plug the whole campus in i pass my neighbor that's how both your results started suffering your health started suffering your finances your family even your friends became implicated in your foolishness so sometimes what you need to do is not a new thing what you need to do is to change your generator after some time god will upgrade you and bring you to the point where there is this gen there is one we used to have outside here when they are doing normal teaching not the lister that one can power things he can power a few things but a season came if you put this thing he can't go it will just shut it down now it's good for many people and good for many places it is good for your present ministry and existence but what about where god is taking you to some of you have seen it in divisions you sleep and see where you are preaching to hundreds and thousands of people i ask my friend i say is it this thing you want to go and use and minister to hundreds of thousands you will die after three days you don't know some people are hungry to hold the mic they don't know the demands the consecration it is so much it is so much that sometimes i i evangelist came to know he 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 moved through the air he didn't go he moved through the ground he didn't go he walked through water he didn't go he entered okay, okay. finish that evening they were shooting gun because that was the time of the answer pro they were shooting gun we still moved and came to the hall he took the mic and that night what happened i say is this man not disturbed about the fact that there was turmoil and chaos everywhere it is his capacity He's used to it. I was asking him, sir, should we postpone? Should we do anything? He said, no. 
that he is born for this this is what he enjoys huh but there are many people that will give up their faith we fail in those instances it is not about it is not about what god wants to do is your capacity to trap what it takes to execute it so after some season i stopped asking god for more i started reaching out for capacity to accommodate more so it's not so much about god giving is our receivement capacity so i began to increase i'm not in doubt that god wants to use us and many times for his mercy he might hide you out of sight so that you will increase in capacity let it be said that when you appear they will say how, how where did this young man come from it is better it is better than that you just quickly appear and then they found out that you don't have what it takes after two or three programs you then shut down they look for you they can't see you the last time you did something tangible was three years ago and that is the only testimony you have as a proof that you walk with god i decided not to be that kind of man i don't know about many people but i grew up in church so my father is a preacher every so i saw the pitfalls i saw everything and i began to walk and decide that i will turn the other and then a woman of god called me and said my son good morning son my son what i'm teaching you here is to reverse the order that the first order is to grow in capacity so that the things you are seeking will come prophecy has already captured it but when it comes so that you will have what it takes i believe in this meeting there will be avalanche activations impartations it's not an amen you know there are people the impartation they received five years ago has not started working the reason is because they have not given themselves to what it takes there are two people receiving the same thing in the same meeting another person starts functioning in the next three months the other person waits for three years it is not god that is partial because if it is grace eh, then it is universal no man can boast of it it is the same god giving there is nothing that we have that is our own it is the discipline the giving to to the things it takes for those things to break out of our life that makes all the difference so when we hear things men that want to go far we begin to ask god how do i respond to this matter do i go and keep it in my daughter or do i go and do the things that will increase my capacity so that every single thing they are saying will become a reality sometimes when men of god stand on this stage and begin to speak the realm from which they broadcast is the realm of functions that means if you can pick it from there you can leave this meeting and begin to do the same thing they are doing it's just that many people are not at the same energy level so your job is not just to be looking and be telling story of how wonderful the meeting is is to pray in tongues as the meeting is going on i stayed here for one year in this macord in this tent there is no time my father in the lord is teaching i'm not praying in tongues it's not because i'm not hearing what he's saying but i want my spirit to capture it and my head to capture it huh now i didn't know the full import of what is happening until after some time then my heart began to grow large i noticed that something started changing inside of me i tell you god is looking for a generation not a few people but his standard cannot be lowered the only thing is that by the things that is being revealed to us here we can quickly understand what it takes to take advantage of the times and the seasons I think my time has finished um i'm just john john the baptist to make way i'm just john the baptist to make way but i want to strike you with a body you know part of the reason why people tell people to fast to pray to come to meetings to do many things they cannot the reason why they cannot is because they don't have much body huh that's why you can sleep and you say ah it's already 4 a.m it's already 5 a.m people that have body in, they are so disturbed that they are willing to do anything for it they are willing to tarry until the proof the result of what god has put inside their heart begins to manifest man of god that's that's what our generation is waiting for i used to think now i used to also say that this generation doesn't love god they don't like god now nah, it's not fully the truth though. the thing is that they have not seen the dimension of god they are looking for when they see it they will cry after they will come 
So our job is to mirror those dimensions. I want to just read a scripture, a phrase from that scripture, and then I will stop. I have a body. I'm here to pray. You see, whether I'm the kind of person that I'm not moved by this microphone is a burden to me. I don't want to preach. And after preaching, I became a preacher. And then the things I preached about is not manifesting my life. Even if I'm not there, I keep myself on my toes to make sure that as I'm leading people, I'm leading myself to approximating to that place in God where I too will become a repair. I hope you know that we, you can talk about things and people will benefit from it. Yet you, you are far away from it. There are pastors that preach about intercession. It's the old mama at the back that is the real intercessor. They, they are not intercessors. That's why when the mama died, church crumbled. And a lot of things began to happen. Because they are saying nice things, but it's not a part of their living. There is no support system. There is nothing there. And once the things that God has put in the spirit to make for your weakness and your incapacity is taken away, then it will become obvious that you never had anything before. I have a burden. I've checked this hall and I found out that is is my age mates that are here. The young generation we will not fail God. Though. We will not fail God. It is not because we are perfect. It is a decision to make. See, when God begins to work with a generation, He just checks their heart. In my own opinion, that's what makes all the difference about the life of Peter. Is is one of the worst, but his heart. His heart. He continued pursuing until he became, he became the certain kind of people, person that we can always reference to. Let me just read the scripture. First Timothy chapter three. Verse 15. I know many of you are here and you even think it's coincidence and many things. There are certain meetings, certain locations, you can't be there by coincidence. You know, I didn't know. I stayed in Makodi for one year. And then I went back. My mother woke me up by 4 a.m. Anytime she wakes me up by 4 a.m., I will know that she wants to tell me something that is very serious. Something bigger than me. She has done it for three times. And when she woke me up, she now told me a story that is bigger than me, Evangelist. She told me that in the early 90s, when they gave birth to my immediate younger sisters, that actually my father was a missionary in this Midwest. Guess where he was? In this Makod. And he was serving under a prophet. The challenge he had in ministry was that he didn't finish and then the prophet died. He went back confused. Almost 30 years later, I didn't know and I found myself in Makod. Meanwhile, I went for a crusade in, in Kaduna that time. January 2018, I went for crusade. Give me a little more volume. I want to strike something now. I went for crusade. And what happened in that crusade, I think that was one of the most anointed days of my life. But from where I'm coming from, sir, anointing is not a proof that God has called you. From the east, it's not a proof that God has called you. It is normal for you to be anointed in the east. It is normal. God just ask an average. I don't know about others. It is, there are places, if people are anointed, they say, ah, our anointed man in the east, they will ask, what you have, I can have it. That is the principle be, be, behind serving your gas in business. They are not interested in collecting money from you. They want to know what you know in business. Very soon they start their own. So an average easterner is anointed. I have to ask God to show me the secret. We must know what the real thing. We must, because I saw it. That's not what I want to say now. Because there are fundamental challenges that they have issue with authority. They can't submit. There are many things, but this is one. Let's see verse 15. But if I tarry long, thou that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of truth. The, my emphasis is in the phrase that said, the pillar and the ground of truth. How many of you did um, 
you did sciences in secondary school now i'm talking about there's one we did even in junior secondary they called it integ integrated sciences then there is the one we did in um senior secondary there is something called calcification calcification you see if i just want to use calcification to show you what paul was telling timothy here because the target of god is that an every believer should embody a dimension of him such that the people they don't need to go to heaven or go anywhere to ask whether this is possible in god all they need to do is to look upon a man and by that not just look at him by touching him they have touched that so calcification is you know uh, that is what they call stalagmites and then if possibly if you see a cave there are things that protrude from inside that cave are you with me if you have me say amen now most times those things come as liquids but the temperature and pressure surrounding the environment of the cave have the capacity to solidify that and many of them in different shapes inside the cave so remember this is a liquid a liquid compound but it became solidified huh? that is called calcification carbon carbon based compounds this is how they solidify so the scripture said here which is the church of the living god the pillar and ground of truth the writer here is trying to say that the church is such um a, a vessel that if people want to know anything about god all they need to do is to touch the church that the church has become the calcified dimension of god so we don't need to say what is holiness what we need to do is to touch the church and then we have touched holiness we don't need to say what is power we need to touch the church and then we see power we don't need to ask where is integrity all we need to do is to pick anybody amongst us and touch that man and in the touching of him we have touched integrity the ground and pillar of truth there is a generation that doesn't know god but men will arise and when they touch you they will touch everything that is supposed to be in the church because god is an embodiment of reality and that reality is now invested in the church that is what this scripture is trying to say so that men outside might not know these realities but when they touch the church when they touch the church they touch those realities i have vowed with my life oh i can't just live and go that is that is the problem you see the truth is that it takes time for you to make a dimension yours in god when you make even your biological children after your loins they will be implicated by the business you did with god for long somebody like me cannot wake up and say i don't want to serve god when my father said two years before i was born he has already seen my name and he has been praying before i was born when my mother said she was pregnant with me and got born again and had the encounter she she put hand on the womb and prayed till the pregnancy finished and then you wake up by age 18 and say i don't want to serve god it's not possible you are implicated by the business that men have touched in the spirit so in our generation people cannot come and say well, all these pastors all these pastors where are they saying all these pastors is because there is an acute lack of men that can stand and the memory of god will not be lost i vow to be that man that's why i'm seeking god i'm not seeking him for anointing for anything before i even understood what it means to walk the path of god i'm already anointed i didn't even know i didn't pray for it when i encountered jesus it was power he gave me i didn't even know i was wasting it until a man called me to order and i found out that's not what we are looking for we want to come to a point in god where even if he's wanting even if he's prayer even if he's prayer let people know that anytime they meet you and their prayer problem is solved forever that's where we are going that's what it means for revival to come when men are carrying god to the streets day to day they don't need to ask again they know that men that have have calcified dimensions and realities of god walk in our midst some of them used to know me before one came and met me he said he called me Jedu because now, you see there is a name you call me i will know from where when you knew me so when he called me Jedu, i know that he can only be in primary school 
that's the only place that's the only way you can know that and he said Chiedu! i said it's my village people that can call me this name so he went and told the guy he said i know this young man now he's small since when did all this thing begin to happen that was the question they asked of the disciples huh they took knowledge of them and found that they have been with jesus can you stay with jesus until you are made can you say you can be here but you are not with jesus so. the encounter that peter james and john had on the mountain <laughs> they are on the mountain but the encounter is taking place in the glory and they were outside that place so peter will be looking and be seeing what is happening looking and his interpretation of what is there is wrong because even though they are on the mountain transformation is inside the glory so it is good that you came to the mountain but there is need for transformation so you have to upgrade yourself in the place in the spirit where the things god is releasing will become yours and you tarry there you don't need to sleep all this eating you have been eating what has it benefited you anytime you carry food again ask the food what is your what are you contributing to my life you have been eating since you are born are you not tired all this sleep you are sleeping you will sleep this night what has he contributed there is no great man and i don't just mean in the kingdom that sleeps all night you don't do that in life it's not about being born again in life no great man sleeps through the night you are not serious you are not with but you don't know the worth of what is handed over to you i see many meetings many great men of god apostles will come and stand here and release things and people will fall. I will ask me, does these people know what is being given to them? I have a body. See, don't look at people and think they are lucky. They are. No, they took advantage of what was handed over to them. And I don't care whether you had the opportunity to stand on the stage or not. That is not the important thing. Whatever you are doing, be doing. I was, a, I was an usher for six years. It was from an usher that I became a pastor. From an usher. And our usher those days, we wash toilets, count money do protocol do sanctuary work at the same time so i don't know the kind of washing work that that one is so sometimes we'll be having programs like this and people will mess up the toilet and things will be happening choir will be singing and all that and i will go to the toilet and be tonguing and be washing it my life can't end like this my life can't end it doesn't matter where you are inside or outside god sees your heart no no he sees your heart he sees your heart and once your faith has risen it will make contact with anything that you desire in this meeting. I want you to make a vow. Whatever it takes, I will lay hold on it. I will lay hold on it. Can you just join me and pray for just one minute? Tell God I will lay hold on it. I will lay hold on it. I'm trusting God for, for 20 people that, that in the course of this meeting, God will lay hold on them. And then when God has held us, pastors, up, then a generation has been won over for God. That's how God wins a generation. God wins a generation when he wins a man, a man. Amen. Can you pray for one minute? Just pray. Just pray in the spirit. Simon Tekaria. Parante Kogreda Bahayata. Salambre Koparamba Takabaria. Sanaman Takaparata Baha. I pray here not I that pray. I pray here not I that pray. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. I pray, hear not hard, I pray. Let's pray for two minutes. I pray, hear not hard, I pray. I pray, hear not hard, I pray. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. Kapo, sakamba babo. Samante Kopriatala, Abrakopata Mahambetala, Sabata Cambre Tapal, Abrakapatale. Every man of faith we pray. If you believe God, then you will pray. Because that is the only way for you to express the content of your convictions. You need to pray. You need to pray as a proof that you believe. 
Sabakwante Apapo Sabapapapapapoa Sambreta Papakapa Ambreto Pakapanata Sa Tapapapa Kambebe Kata Sakwa Kapata Pedia Ambebe Kata Kapapa Saba My call, my call. Holy fire, fall upon my altar. From within me, spirit, you take over. Holy fire, burn upon my altar. Within men, we arise. Men that we hold on to the horns of the altar until salvation comes. They will stop until God comes and raise righteousness. Sabe kabre, kuba kabaya tapa kabela, amre kuba taparata, saba panta braka, akaira bela tua, saba ba, saka ba 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 ba, ma ba 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 ba, saka ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, listen, listen to me. Listen, listen, you have heard my story before. The first time I entered this tent, what I saw was sockets in the wall. Sockets, sockets. That is the question, that's what Elijah told Elisha, if you will see me. What, what do you see? What can you see? I saw sockets in the wall. Pastor, sir, that's how I knew I can, I can, I can socket, I can connect. And all the business that night, I went back to daddy's house. I went there and I changed my routine of living. As soon as we entered around nine, I went and started sleeping. And then when people made noise, made noise, made noise, made noise, and then the, the nun slept around one and now woke up. I said, I, Do you know? I was telling God, Do you know where I'm coming from? I came from all the way from East to come and celebrate and clap and snap picture and go. That's why your life is like this now. You are not, you are not, you are, you like God, but you are not willing to do what it takes for you to enter there. I prayed all night, fasted, came here, and then it continued and continued and continued and continued. Even the days I stayed here, sometimes I will go to mama's school. I will stay there and cry for morning till night. I say, I can't end like this. I can't stop where my father stopped. He is a good man, but I, I saw something stopping him. Now, you can know where you will end though now. How do you know what you are doing now? You can't just be bigger than your priesthood. You can't be bigger than the things you are doing. It is your priesthood that will speak for you in the future. And the days it will start speaking, people might not remember the things you did. They will just like the manifestation around your life. They will not know that there were days that men are sleeping and you are awake. There are days that people are praying. They are waiting for a prayer point and somebody to ginger them. But there is one amongst them. It doesn't matter whether they recognize you. That's what happened to Philip and Stephen. They came and nobody recognized them, but they were praying and groaning. They know that they know that God is no respecter of person. If I can cry to him, he will forget the look of my face and drop something in my life that my generation will look at and then they will follow God. They will follow God. That man stood and gave an exegesis that, that is almost the most beautiful in the book of Acts of the Apostles. He began from the beginning and, and tidied up the whole scripture for us. And then in that place, encounter began. Even Paul, who was Saul, could not, could not remove himself from the encounter he had that day. That was why when, when Jesus appeared to him, he called him Lord. Who are you? Because this kind of thing, he has seen it before. He has seen the vision of the shining face before. That was the vision. That was what Moses said. He said, a prophet like unto me, a man that his face shine. I want us, I want us, just hold somebody beside you. Maybe the pastors, no need. If you want, hold on, so that it will not seem as if, it will not seem as if. But I want you to pray. I want you to pray and ask God, Give me a shift. I know I've been doing well. I understand that many of us are doing well. Even me too. You can say I'm doing well. When people come and tell me, hey, you are doing well, oh, I will go and cry through the night. 
this is how many young men stopped they they quickly clapped them into obscurity when god suddenly took them serious they clapped them into obscurity because they started rejoicing before time no 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 what we have is still the priestly anointing the kingly anointing the priestly anointing is to labor into god i want you to labor if you know you have the holy spirit i think it's prayer we need to pray now pray for another three minutes and ask god this is my moment this is my hour even if you sniff i will pick you if you cough i will pick you even if it's a flash i will pick you Sabakwante kaparadia, ambreko pata parata bahata, shambe talia kapa. You can go deeper in prayer. Hai lebekoa sata banta, mambreko pata baba, sambra kapa baba kambreta, isabeli ata baka penate, mambra kapa poa kapa tal, asta bebe bebe kapenete, sambra kapa bor, kapa baba baba.